What? Look at that. He's getting huge. Hey everyone and welcome back to Space Lizard Exotics. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time, welcome. And definitely check out that subscribe button. That way you get to stay up to date with all the crazy little cool creatures that we're about to discuss in this next video. What? You might be wondering, Elliot, why are you holding a toothbrush? Again, or if this is your first time watching the channel, Elliot, why are you holding the toothbrush? This is like a follow-up video to the socializing video we did recently with the dwarf caimans, Nebula and Brutus. We're gonna see, are they doing well with this? What do y'all think? Do you think they're doing well? Think they're gonna do better? Who knows? We're about to see. We're about to take these little swamp goblins out, do some socializing with them, and we got some things to talk about today. So, hope you enjoy this video, and let's get cracking. Got a lot of things to do. Super cool. All right, so I have my little lady Nebula here. Oh my goodness, we finally got her out. We're gonna start with her tonight, see how it goes. What? This is a little follow-up video from the last video that we did with Nebula and Brutus with the, ready for it? Toothbrush, the mighty little toothbrush, because it saves your fingies from getting bit, and even sometimes your fingies still get bit. It happened to me the other day. Check this out, we're gonna start on this video, see how it goes. Brutus, he's acting up. He knows he's next. We have been doing a lot of socializing lately, so we're gonna see how this goes today. It is thundering and lightning out, so if she is a little nippy, I'm gonna give that as well. A little, little, little hall pass there. You see what I'm saying? See how fast that is? Oh my goodness, they are lightning fast, and she is not having it right now. So we're gonna try to get her calmed down before we kind of do the socializing. Very, very explosive creatures. They're very fast. They're absolutely my little love, so I love them. Both Nebula and Brutus. This is my first dwarf came in Nebula. She is my female. So we are going to be doing a lot of more socializing, especially the fact that both of them are getting very, very big. Because they've been eating, they've been having a very good appetite lately, which is phenomenal. So see that? Toothbrush came out of nowhere. Where did that come from? What? So the toothbrush technique is used, like we've talked about, by a lot of different types of people who keep caimans, crocodiles, alligators, especially when they're this size. It's good for socializing, gets them used to being handled, touched, and not, you know, biting. They'll eventually just kind of keep nipping at this. They're like, oh, it keeps touching my schnoz. It keeps touching the top of my head. It's not going away. It's not, I'm not scared. It's not scared of me. So that's the goal because these wonderful little creatures are extremely, extremely smart. If you pull back, especially if you get bit and you're like, act like, oh no, 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 no. They remember that. They'll start flexing with you, things like that. So the goal is to make sure we could socialize them as much as you can with a dwarf caiman or any type of crocodile. That way, when you do eventually, you know, have them larger, you don't have as much of an issue with handling them or, you know, moving them to another terrarium, things like that. So that is the main goal. So let's try this out. Let's see how this goes, okay? You ready for this, baby? So far so good, look at that. Even with it, her being a little sassy pants kind of taking her out, this is phenomenal, right? How amazing. Love this reaction and her mouth is more closed than last time. It's not as like crazy wide open because that's usually when they're like, I'm very pissed off, I'm gonna bite you and I'm gonna snap at something. She's still, you know, you know, can definitely snap and in a split second too, as you've seen before in some of the videos or if you've kind of seen recently when she just kind of twitches. So she's doing very good. We're just lightly going over the head like this. So I say, heck man, she's doing phenomenal. So the goal is to especially have her calm when we're doing this, doesn't snap, doesn't bite to where when I handle her all the time, she's not gonna be snapping at my fingers, snapping at other, you know, people if they do have to handle or things like that, especially when they get big, because they get four to five feet. You do not want to get bit by one of these, you know, little swamp puppies when they're four to five feet. So what we're going to do next too, we're going to try to do the bottom of her chin, see what happens, right? So we're going to gently just go on the bottom there, see what she does, right? See, see what happens. Come on. Oh, she didn't like that. She did not like that. Okay. Okay. Calm down. She did not like that, so, well, all right, so calm down, calm down, calm down. And we just go right back to it, right back to it, because you just get used to that, right? Good girl, good girl, okay. Lightning fast though, oh my goodness, right? But I'd say she's doing very good. She was a little grumpy pants, like I said, when I took her out. It's super storming out, so we're gonna get that as a little, little, little haul pass today for you, huh? Little haul pass. I think she did a good job. What do you think? Make comments below. I wanna hear from y'all. What do you think? You think she's doing better than Brutus? 
vice versa. Let's get that beast out and well, let's see how that goes. Oh my goodness, you ready to go back in? You know who this is, this is Brutus. Also known as Brutus Maximus. What in the world, look at this little, little swamp goblin, little swamp puppy. Dragon, that's what he is, Jesus Christ. So he's uh, he's a little sassy pants tonight, if you haven't noticed. What in the world, look at this. Look at that big, ginormous tail just wrapping around like he's in the star in the new Jurassic Park movie or something. Chris Pratt doesn't want you. Anyway, it's back to business. We got you out for a reason, pal, okay? I'm gonna do some socializing with you. Who do you think's gonna do better, Brutus or Nebula? What? So far, Nebula's kicking it. We kicked it today, we hung out, and we talked about our favorite, like, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, a whole bunch of stuff. What? He doesn't know. So let's try this out. Let's see, two first time, so. He's doing cool. Look at that, Brutus did fantastic. He calmed down, look. He's a mighty dragon for a second. He's been doing good with the toothbrush. We've been doing a lot of handling every day. Toothbrush, we kinda, Took a little break on him for a little while with it, which I don't honestly even have a good real reason why I did. So I need to start doing this more with him. Dwarf caimans are f***ing strong. I'm just gonna say it, they're strong. So when they get big too, they're just all muscle. They're just all muscle and bone, just flailing around like little dinosaurs they are, you know? Like I said, he's trying to get in that new Jurassic Park movie. He's doing a good job, puckering up his little demeanor. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Woo! You see how lightning fast that is? Oh my goodness. What? So what he's trying to do, he's trying to maneuver his tail, right? They're super smart. So they try to maneuver that long, that big, very thick tail of theirs around my hand and try to flip, almost like, I shouldn't really say like, well, he's trying to roll around. Not really a death roll, I should say, but he's definitely trying to roll around, get around and bite me. So that was crazy fast, right? The only reason why I had to let go, well, he would've got around and got me. So I had to reposition his body. So one, he didn't bite me. And then also two, don't wanna ever hurt the little guy. So. You know, good little position on him like that. <sighs> Crazy, oh my goodness, right? Little amazing body armor. Little dragon. Well, <sighs> wanna try that one more time, bud? Wanna give it one more shot? He is definitely a little bit uh, harder to handle because of his size difference from Nebula. We strive and we conquer, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. My goodness. Crap, this too I'm just joking, I love you. You're doing good. The dwarf came in. We're trying to socialize him. He's just like, bro, what is this thing hitting my head? You're an alien. I don't know who you are. You good. Toothbrush. See? Good. See? You're not going crazy. Not biting at it. Just your snows. I think he's doing phenomenal. So, like I said before, it's very important to socialize with all your reptiles, but especially your caimans, if you have them they get four to five feet and you really do want to socialize with them so they are definitely a trip they make me smile every single day even their little attitude and with their little pissy pants so but i love them and i hope you love them as much as i do that's why you're watching these videos checking out space is exotic so what do you think of the socializing video though i think it was pretty cool what do you think of that socializing video what do you think about all this madness that we're doing here at space is exotics with all these funky little creatures of the swamp, of the trees, of the land. I also, what, are you ready for this? I got a big announcement coming up in the next video. Are we gonna be doing another unboxing? What, are we? We are, we're gonna be doing two unboxings. I shouldn't even call the other one unboxing. It's just gonna be like a, like an unveiling. That's what it is. So, be prepared for that, the unveiling video. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna add to the collection as Space of those Exotics? What do you think? Comment below. I want to hear from you. I want to see what, I want to, whoever's right. I want to see what, or what you guys are just on your mind. What do you think Eliente is going to add to this crazy zoo of his? Who knows? I want to hear from you though. Comment below if you haven't yet. Also subscribe. Like I said, thank you so much before for tuning in to Space Lizard Exotics. They enjoy it too, and I appreciate it. You are all awesome, and we will see you next time here at this amazing, wonderful channel. And wherever you are, like always, have a wonderful day or evening, or midday, early morning, late night, afternoon, Sunday through Monday, what, wherever you're out in the world, have a wonderful day and stay rocking.